In this video, I want to show you how you can use a slicer in Power BI to highlight instead of filter a visual. And I've been using this in my workshops for quite a time now, and I wanted to make a video about this forever. So finally, I found some time to create this video. Why would you want to do this? I get a lot of questions about these things, like why would you use all this data visualization? Well, imagine you work in a team and you want to compare the results, for example, between you and your coworkers, or you are a manager of a really big team and you want to compare the team's performance with other teams' performance, these kind of things. You don't want to filter like your team and another team. You want to highlight it and see how it compares to everything else. It's just some visual guidance that makes it easier to see what's going on. A uh, word of warning here, this does not work really well with a lot of options. So if you have like 50 teams that you want to compare, you will have a really large slicer where you need to go through. And I think user experience will be horrible. But if you have like a few options, this will work really well. So what are we going to do today? We are going to create this. So I will show you how to do that. And it's quite easy. You don't need anything special to do it. Uh, everything's available in Power BI and I will show you how to do that. So here I'm in Power BI Desktop. I opened a new page and the first thing I want to do is I want to add a slicer with a category. So I choose that and make it a slicer. This is really just a basic slicer, nothing fancy going on here. And we have our different categories here. And now what I want to do is put this here. I also want to have a visual showing that. So I have my product and for example, I have my profit here and I want to show that in a bar chart, cluster bar chart in this case. So now we have that here, make it the right size. So now what happens if I click, for example, on headphones, uh, it filters headphones. If I also choose Office Electronics, it filters Office Electronics and headphones. And if I unselect everything, everything will be shown. But now I want this to highlight instead of filter. First, I go to Format and Edit Interactions, and I click on my filter. And then I say the filter interaction with this bar chart should be None. So what happens if I click on Headphones now? Nothing. And every other option also nothing happens. And now the second thing we need to do is we need to add another table. So, um, and I will, will put the DAX in the description. And the DAX in this case to do this is I want a highlight category table, that's the name of it. And I want the values of the category in it there. So what does this do if we create it? We get a table just with these categories in it. So if I add this to my visual and also make it a slicer, if I click on anything, you will see also nothing happens because this category is just created in that table. And this table has zero relationships with the other things, which means nothing happens. It's, there's no interaction. That's good. It should be like that. So what we are going to do now is I'm going to go to sync slicers. If you can't see it on the right side, go to the view and sync slicers. And then I select the first one. And I say, I want to add a group here and the group name will be highlight. And then I click on the second slicer and it will be in the same group. What happens now? If I click on office electronics, this will be selected in the other slicer. Of supply. So everything I select will be selected in the other slicer because they are grouped together. But still, the first slicer has no interaction and the second one is grouped to the first slicer now, but nothing happens here because the first one has no interaction and the second one has no relationship. So there's still no interaction. So how can we now highlight stuff? So what we need to do is we need to create a DAX measure that actually counts how many things are selected and gives us that value back. So what we are going to do is we're going to write this 
dark smasher and I will also put this in the description, of course. What happens here is I create a variable, a category chosen, and it is a count rows with intersect between the two um, columns. So the first one is the one from the table we created and the second one is the one we already had in our data. And the count rows from of an intersect actually says if these two are selected both at the same time, we will count the rows. And then in our return statement, we say if is filtered. So if did someone click on that slicer and selected something, then we want the category chosen. So this variable, and this means we get back a one, two, three, four, five, depending on how many uh, of these things were selected and otherwise we want to get back zero. And if we create this and we put it in our visual, let's make this a card. We see we have selected one, it will show as one. And now we select two, it's two and three. So it counts up. If we select nothing, it's zero. So how are we going to use this? Because at the moment still nothing's happening there. So we go to our chart and there we go to the format pane bars and there we can use conditional formatting to change the colors of the bars. And now the last time we are going to use DAX here is we are going to create another DAX measure and you can see it here also in the description where I say if the highlight category is one, I want a certain color to be chosen and I have all my colors in a separate table um, or make it this color, this is light gray. And if you wonder, how do you put the colors in a table? I have a video about this, about dynamically changing colors. Um, I just created a table, it's called color, where I put all the colors I want to use in and uh, I defined the code there. So every time I want to use a different color, I can refer to, for example, this one, and then the color will be changed. So you could also, of course, put in another hex code here that would change the color. So I have this uh, DAX mesh I created. I go on FX, field value, and then I, it's called highlight. So there it is. Everything that is selected will be highlighted. And if you wonder why is this green, I have another slicer here where I can dynamically change the colors here. So that's why I had this table before. So make if you want to learn how that works, make sure you watch the other video. Um, so this works perfectly. Now I can remove this. I want to hide this one. So I go to selection, hide, 